Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Training Videos and this is number 18th video in this series and today in this video I'm going to show you how to put VMware ESXi host in maintenance mode. So basically we need to understand first what is maintenance mode and what we can do um, by putting machines in maintenance mode and wh why this is required. Like if you want to do some maintenance on your ESXi host like if you want to uh, do some maintenance as on hardware hardware level or the OS configuration level which you want to test like if you want to upgrade the RAM uh, on your um, ESXi host then you can put the machine in maintenance mode then you can take the shutdown for that particular ESXi and once the machine is shut down you can upgrade the RAM and whatever configuration you want to uh, uh, make changes on a hardware level you can do that and then you can power on that machine and once the VMware ESXi is up you can uh, actually go and see uh, the changes whatever you did is completely like reflected or not the your host is in healthy status or not once you confirm you, your host is is in healthy state and you can go and add that machine again in the production so what you can do you can just put uh, get that machine out of maintenance mode so maintenance mode can be useful on multiple purpose like if you want to do any uh, any configuration changes and which you want to test or you can do it for hardware changes uh, all as well so basically uh, uh, maintenance mode is required for maintenance purpose only so this is my demo environment which I am using in this video to show you how we can do the uh, put the machine in maintenance mode so might be you have seen my last videos re regarding 6.5 data center virtualization video so I have upgraded my machine and you can see the uh, now machines having more powerful configuration like RAM and uh, CPU so the first machine is win 2 k 12 DC01 which is my Active Directory server I just updated my slides so you can see Active Directory and DNS server so let's verify this so you can see Active Directory and DNS is running on this machine and if I go to local server you can see this is my Win2K 12 DC01 which is my Active Directory server and IP address is 192.168.0.201 so this is my Active Directory server and second machine which we have is our vCenter server so this is vCenter 65 and it's having 12 gig of memory this is joined in my victim for soul dot local domain and IP address of this machine is 192.168.0.202 so here you can see this is my vcenter65 join in my domain IP address 192.168.0.202 so now I'm going to open my VMware vSphere web client and I'm going to log in with my session to just verify what we have in our vCenter infrastructure and next we have two ESXi hosts which is ESXi01 and ESXi02 both are running uh, ESXi 6.5 and the IP address is 192.168.0.201 for ESXi1 and 112 for ESXi2 so let's verify here so if I go here you can see both are ESXi 6.5 and you can verify the name IP address and it's having two processors and 32 gig of memory and same we have ESXi 02 you can verify the IP address and host name and it's also having 6.5 running and with the two processor and 32 gig of memory and both my ESXi host are added in my this uh, vCenter server and if you go here you can see I have created cluster and I have added both my email, uh, clusters uh, basically nodes in this cluster ESXi node in this cluster so if I go to host you can see both host are, is a part of this uh, cluster which is prodnoida so now if I go on VMs you can see we have two virtual machine in this infrastructure so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this uh, ESXi02 in maintenance mode and then we'll verify what going to be happen when we are going to put the machine in maintenance mode and once like uh, once like we are done with testing, we are, I'm going to uh, take it back to cluster. So if I go to ESXi02 
and go here on VMs you can see this machine currently holding one role uh, one virtual machine basically which is Win2K12-01 so what if I'm going to do right click and maintenance mode so basically uh, this virtual machine is going to be moved from this host which is ESXi02 to other host in ESXi01 so basically whenever you are going to put the ESXi host in a maintenance mode uh, if you have a DRS enable the machine is automatically going to move from one host to another host by using the DRS so let's try this so I have right click on my ESXi02 I'm going to click on uh, maintenance mode and enter maintenance mode so when you click on enter maintenance mode it's going to give you the option what is the maintenance mode you need to either power off these all details you can read so basically you can cancel maintenance mode task anytime when you initiate the uh, like um, maintenance mode task you, you can uh, disable or like uh, uh, cancel that task also during the maintenance mode so you can see here we have one checkbox here which is saying move powered off and sus uh, suspended virtual machines to other host uh, in the cluster so basically you have to have one cluster up and running to do put the maintenance machines in maintenance mode if the virtual machine is running on that particular host and you don't want to impact the infrastructure so I'm going to so put the selected host in maintenance mode question mark yes so click OK. Now it's going to see uh, the the following uh, host are in DRS cluster. So as I told, this is on DRS, and you can see one of the virtual one or more virtual machine might need to be migrated to another host cluster or power up before requesting the operation. So now if I click here, you can see what happened here. So machine the machine has been migrated. Uh, if I go here you can see this machine has been migrated win 2 k 12 one from this uh, ESXi02 and then the machine is uh, e uh, basically ESXi is went in maintenance mode so now if I go to ESXi01 you can see both the virtual machine are now moved to ESXi01 and if I go on ESXi01 and task and events you can see here DRS migrated this machine from ESXi02 to ESXi01 in prod cluster so this is done by DRS so you have to make sure when you are putting a virtual machine in maintenance mode uh, uh, basically ESXi host in maintenance mode you have another host uh, which can basically take over your uh, virtual machines which is running on that particular virtual machine either you can shut down the virtual machine if you having like only one host you can uh, basically go and shut down all the virtual machines and then you can put the machine uh, ESXi host in maintenance mode but there was no logic to put uh, uh, if you have a single host and uh, putting in maintenance mode so this is very useful when you have a big infrastructure and like a cluster having more than two nodes or uh, uh, at least two nodes and then you can um, put the machine in maintenance mode and you can transfer all over all the workload basically virtual machine from one host to another host and then you can put that back um, in a maintenance mode so now I'm going to um, get this machine out of maintenance mode so the same way you can right click and go to maintenance mode and exit maintenance mode when you are going to click that you can see exit maintenance mode is state is started and you can definitely cancel this if you wish to so it's going to take few seconds so we have to wait for a few seconds here so 53 percent completed so now you can see exit maintenance mode is completed and now the machine is out of maintenance mode and if I go to VMs you can see still both virtual machines are running on that particular ESXi02 so this is good and now if you wish to transfer the virtual machines from ESXi01 to ESXi02 you can do that so let's try to migrate this machine at its correct place which is ESXi02 before entering in a maintenance mode so I'm going to select this and compatibility check succeeded so I'm going to click next 
then I'm going to leave everything default and just schedule migration on high priority recommended and click finish so now you can see relocate virtual machine task is started and soon this machine is going to be moved from ESXi 02 to ESXi 01 so now you can see this machine is um, no more here so if I go to ESXi 02 you can see we got the machine here so so basically this is what we can uh, what is maintenance mode and how we can use maintenance mode put the ESXi host in maintenance mode and once uh, our activity is done maintenance activity done you can put uh, take the uh, ESXi host out of maintenance mode so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me in my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye